Welcome to JustUsFriends.org and we have many videos here in our video library on the site along with a lot of articles and other thought-provoking uh, opportunities and we appreciate how many of you are faithful visitors and how many of you write in response to our videos especially to say how much they're helpful to you. And I'm always grateful for those emails and just to know who you are that's out there. One of the things that makes me very happy is to know that many of you are developing more of a sense of confidence in your own inner wisdom and in your meditations and in your capacity to handle life challenges. One of the major things that we all have to deal with is trusting that we will be able to negotiate the enormous challenges of life this video is on trusting, and we can certainly see the logic that if we have a deep feeling of faith and trust in our capacity to handle life challenges, then we are going to go through our day more relaxed, more confident, and very likely more successful because we will not be making life decisions from a place of desperation or a feeling of emergency, but we will be, be able to draw on our very best resources and a calm and brain that is thinking on all of our cylinders. So, to have a deep sense of trust really facilitates a successful life. Now, most of us, at some point, were untrusting because when we were little kids, we had to have the support of people, grown-ups, our caretakers, to help us through difficult times. Some little children had caretakers who were very supportive, who helped children find their own strength, who helped reinforce a confidence in their capacity and in their decision making. And then some of us might have had grown-ups in our life who were more critical or who undermined our feelings of confidence. And we were likely to integrate in to our belief about ourself and our worldview and our trust and faith in others. And whether we were all alone as a desperate little kid trying to handle a world that was too big for us that was too much for us, or that we could have faith that we had the skill and the capacity to handle life challenges. No matter where we were on the spectrum in terms of self-confidence and trust, it's never too late to build that trust in to our heart and our view of the world. Imagine a little analogy that if we are a caterpillar and all of a sudden we have this very strange impulse to leave our very familiar caterpillar lifestyle and start making a cocoon to put ourselves in a dark little cave for a period of time, 
that if as a caterpillar we had some conscious awareness, we might consider, oh my goodness, I'm doing this um, very strange behavior. What's going on? Why am I changing what has been a successful life as a caterpillar and hibernating away in this dark cocoon without having a conceptualization of what is going to come from what might almost feel like death. But then, of course, one day in our caterpillar life, we emerge from that cocoon as an incredible butterfly and we have much greater freedom. We are beautiful. We are floating through the air. And of course, that time of cocooning ourselves away was the necessary step to our liberation as a butterfly innate within that caterpillar was how to go through this process to emerge as the butterfly. And what if innate in each of us is a wisdom to know the processes, even if sometimes it's cocooning ourselves away or going through a traumatic or difficult event, or making a major life change, what if deep within us is a wisdom that is guiding us to our eventual unfolding as our highest self? If that highest self is already truly programmed within us, and all we have to do is follow that deep inner drive that will take us to our clarity and our liberation as this next step manifests, wouldn't that bring us a deep sense of trust that even though things may not always be understandable, they will turn out perfectly in the end. And so let's consider that that is our truth, that each of us has deeply programmed, not quite in our DNA, but in our wisdom consciousness, who we are and how we're emerging. And yet we have to listen and we have to trust that that emerging will happen with very little intellectual understanding, but with a great deal of listening and faith in knowing that our becoming will be made manifest. Even if people, when we were little, told us we were stupid and we couldn't do anything and we couldn't make it and we would never be a butterfly. And yet, your becoming cannot be stopped. Unless, of course, you refuse to go into the cocoon. <laughs>